Hey guys, Mackie here. Sid's over there. Um, first of all, thank you to everybody who subscribed. Oh. You? <laughs> Where are you? Hold still. <laughs> We just wanted to say a big thank you for getting us to 4,000 subscribers. That's super exciting. Super exciting. Um, you guys are awesome. Love you. Yep. And a big thanks to Seth for doing a tour of our van. We think it's pretty cool. A lot of you guys thought so too, which we're really stoked about. Um, we thought it was pretty hilarious because the main question in the comments was how we take care of personal hygiene, specifically whether or not we shower. Ever. Ever. <laughs> and we sort of figured that, like, yeah, we got to 4,000 subscribers, but probably, like, a 1,000 of you just came over to see if we ever shower. So, so we thought we would just go ahead and answer that. Yes, we do shower. It's actually really easy to find showers. You can yeah. go to the gym. You can have friends. You can use just jump in a shower. river. You can use a solar shower. You can use a sponge if it gets really <laughs> desperate. Yeah. You can use baby wipes. You can use wipes. epic wipes. There's all sorts of options. But today... We are opening our road shower, which is specifically for showering. So we thought we would just show you guys what it looks like. Do um, an unboxing and an install. Yeah. And we're going to put it on the van, and that way you guys won't have to worry if we <laughs> smell or not. Which, you know, that's actually also like the awesome thing about video. You can watch our videos, and you don't have to smell us. So really, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're worried. Um, but, you know, but we do we smell fine take showers and we don't smell usually. <laughs> <laughs> with the bolts. Mackie's pissed off. I'm saying to get the bolts because they're not working. Well, we had some difficulties with one of the bolts. The nut got so frozen onto it that I had to cut it to be able to get the mounting bracket off. And I'm going to use the short ones on the back because we have the clearance. Okay, it's all installed. Now we're supposed to try to release any pressure in the hose and then open up the fill cap and just see how that looks. We're not actually going to put any water in it yet because I think we're still going to hit freezing nights on our way down to Tucson and you're not supposed to leave water in it because freezing it could crack it. So um, we're not actually going to do that but I may try pumping it up a little bit just to see and like try releasing some air pressure so it should be cool. Okay, up here is the fill cap. We have a little wrench for it. Oh, we will unscrew that. Let's see, right? Tidy lefty Lucy. There we go. I am stumped. There's obviously something I'm missing. Okay, apparently this is how you're supposed to open it, so I'm wondering if maybe I just stop. I stopped screwing too soon. Alright, and then this is the built-in pressure release valve in here, so it won't get above 65 PSI. And then, yeah, just fill it up with that. Very cool. This is a female-to-female -female end that you can use to fill it up using pressurized hose water. I think the way you do that is... You connect this to right here. Oh yeah, it looks like it. All right. I'm gonna screw that onto that side. Screw the hose onto this side. Open up the release valve on that side, and just fill it up. Okay, the final part of the test. I'm gonna go put some air in the road shower, build up the pressure, and then confirm that it holds pressure.
All right, that'll give me something. All right, I'm gonna switch the nozzles, see if we get air. I would say that's successful. As our last step, we have to install our thermometer. Sid's gonna do the honors. While Sid's fighting with that, I'm gonna tell you guys an embarrassing story. So we're throwing away the rest, like the, you're getting rid of the cardboard and stuff for the road shower. And I find this little package that says, attention, use these nuts, not the other nuts, because they can screw up. The other nuts did in fact screw up, but I didn't notice this little package until after I'd installed it all. So I'm just gonna put this in a safe place, and if I ever have to take those off, I'm gonna replace them with these. But I feel kind of stupid. Got it. All right, and Sid got it. All right, we have our thermometer. There's our road shower. Now you guys can be assured that we do in fact shower. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. We're sharing our adventures on the road, and we'll see you guys next time.